हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू मोटिवेशनल मेडिकोस माई नेम इज पुलकित गुप्ता एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट शोल्डर ज्वाइंट शोल्डर ज्वाइंट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एज एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो वट इन जनरल वी नो अबाउट दिस शोल्डर ज्वाइंट दट दिस ज्वाइंट इज मोस्ट मूवेबल और बेसिकली हाईली मूवेबल बिकॉज एज यू ऑल नो यू कैन डू फ्लेक्शन एक्सटेंशन abduction adduction and the circumduction so so many movements are possible at this joint so this, this is the most movable joint so we can say this is most movable joint but one thing which we all should understand that this joint is least stable so at this joint there is due to defect uh, at any point in this joint leads to dislocation of this joint so that's why clinically very important we need to study about this joint so now we study about this joint see this is scapula and this is humerus this joint is formed between the glenoid cavity of the scapula and between the this is the head of humerus so between the head of humerus and the glenoid cavity this joint is formed so now what type of this joint is formed so as you can uh, see this joint is movable as i have already mentioned it that this is movable joint so movable joint means this is a synovial joint now what type of synovial joint so as you can see this the head of humerus is round or you can say ball like so this is ball and you can see the glenoid cavity this looks like cavity or depression or you can say uh, basically socket like so this joint is basically ball and socket type so let's write it down so this joint is ball and socket type type of synovial joint synovial joint and one more thing uh, the articular surfaces so as i have already told you this is uh, medially glenoid cavity and laterally this is the head of humerus now after this uh, we'll study about the ligaments so we'll study about the ligaments of the shoulder joint so we have to study the uh, basically four ligaments first of all i'll tell you theoretically then i'll tell you uh, i will show you uh, where these joints are uh, ligaments are present so the first one is basically capsular capsular ligament which ligament is present this is capsular ligament the uh, the next one is uh, is the glenohumeral ligament glenohumeral ligament third ligament is uh, which we have to study is the uh, coracohumeral ligament coracohumeral ligament first of all we are covering theoretically then i'll tell you and the fourth one is transverse humeral ligament transverse humeral ligament so these four ligaments are present so now we'll see the these ligaments see the first ligament see as you can see this is a joint this is a shoulder joint so this must be something which should cover this joint so like my this hand covering this joint over all this region of the joint so this region basically like a capsule so this is covering like a capsule that's why it's a capsular ligament so this ligament is present basically medially to the margins of the glenoid cavity and laterally to the uh, basically surgical neck of humerus so we'll write down it is present to the medially 
medially uh, till where it is present till the uh, margins of glenoid cavity margins of glenoid cavity and laterally if we see it is present uh, to the surgical neck of humerus surgical neck of humerus so this uh, this is the first joint capsular ligament which is present like this now if we talk about the second ligament that is glenohumeral ligament see this ligament is present basically uh, inside if we uh, see this ligament inside the capsular ligament so this ligament is present like a band see like this ligament uh, imagine this is a band so three bands are present like this one two and three these three bands are present which shows this capsular ligament now there is one clinical condition first of all i tell uh, write down that this glenohumeral ligament is uh, basically consists of three bands uh, basically three thickenings you can say are the bands of fibrous capsule this ligament is formed by this fibrous capsule ligament also only and it has three uh, basically band that is superior middle and inferior band inferior band so there is a one clinical condition due to defect in the superior and middle uh, in the in these band leads to anterior dislocation anterior dislocation of this joint so uh, basically anterior dislocation of shoulder joint i have write, i have written sj for the shoulder joint so it will lead to uh, basically anterior dislocation if there is a uh, defect in superior and the middle uh, ligaments of glenohumeral the next ligament is coracohumeral see this is coracoid process of the uh, scapula and this is humerus so ligament uh, as the name suggest this ligament is present between the base of the coracoid process to the greater uh, tubercle of the humerus so this ligament basically is present like this imagine this pen so this ligament is present like this between the base of the scapula or uh, coracoid process to the greater tubercle of the humerus so let's write it down so this is present uh, from the base of coracoid process its process and the greater tubercle of humerus of the humerus after this the next uh, ligament is present is it transverse humeral see as a name suggests you have to just understand just remember these four names uh you can through the, their name you will be able to understand what uh, where this ligament is present name said transverse humeral ligament see it was be in the humerus and transversely it is placed so these are the two tubercles that is greater and the lesser tubercle so this ligament is present like this so as you can see already there is a groove present in between but when uh, this ligament is present so this ligament uh, leads to formation of a canal so through this canal this one structure passes that is the long tendon of the long head of biceps brachii which passes through this canal so this now we'll write down so this ligament is basically present, present like a bridge it's present like a bridge between the uh you can say greater and the lesser tubercle greater and the lesser tubercle and uh, basically what i have tell you told you that is tendon of biceps brachii biceps brachii long head of sorry 
long head of uh, you can write it like here long head as you know bicep brachii has two heads long and the short head so this long head of bicep brachii this passes through this canal this canal so these are the ligaments of the shoulder joint uh, uh, so we have studied uh, in general about the shoulder joint that this is the most movable this is least stable and this is ball and socket type of shoulder joint now we have studied about four ligaments capsular ligament like a capsule present glenohumeral ligament has three bands uh, coracohumeral between the coracoid process and the humerus and transverse humeral ligament which is makes a canal around the uh, two tubercles basically between the two tubercles and through this tendon of bicep brachii passes so this is it for this video and in the next video we will talk uh, further about the shoulder joint so keep watching stay tuned with, uh, with us if you like our uh, work please like share subscribe and guys don't forget to press the bell icon thank you guys